Hey guys, welcome back to phase two of our landscape project. In phase one, we took all the sod out of this corner of my in-laws yard, and we did make a video about that. If you would like to watch it, we will include a link in the description below or in the comment section. So in this phase, I'm going to plant. And I'm really excited for this part because this is the fun part where everything comes together. And I explained in the first video that this is the side of the yard that is really unused. This is where they take their uh, camp trailer in and out. And there's also some things that we're planting around. So we just wanted to plant some things that were pretty, but low maintenance. Because the side of the yard had no plants at all, I kind of went heavy on plants with winter interest just because I want it to look gorgeous even during the winter months. And those are the kind of plants I start with first. And then we can add colorful perennials and annuals throughout the season. So my centerpiece plant is this compact gem Bosnian pine. It's a Pinus leucodermis. It's a really slow growing compact columnar pine, which is perfect because we have a fire hydrant right in one corner, a water axis right in front, and a cable pedestal right on the other side. So we don't want to plant anything that's going to get too big. Next, I'm going to use some Arctic Fire Dogwoods, and these are fantastic plants. They have such beautiful bright red stems in the wintertime and really soft green foliage during the summer. And they're a zone two through seven, so they're super winter hardy, and they grow about three to five feet tall and wide, and they'll stay on the smaller end of the spectrum, which is what I want them to do for our application here. If you go in in early spring and cut them back about two thirds of the way, and when you do that, it makes them produce even brighter colored stems the next winter. The third and last type of plant I'm going to use for this landscape project are Gold Splash Euonymus, which are fantastically beautiful evergreen plants. They grow about 18 to 24 inches tall and about 24 to 48 inches wide, which is perfect for this specific project because we'll have the Arctic Fire Dogwoods right behind them for a taller element and then these will be right below. Um, these don't require pruning ever unless you want to maintain their shape in a certain way. They're also really pH adaptable, which is really great, especially for my area because we have really high alkaline soils, the pH is really high. So we need plants that can tolerate that kind of thing. So to plant these things, you generally want to dig the hole just about as deep as the pot and then a little bit wider. But in my area, since our soil is so bad, we dig it a little bit deeper so we can add some nice compost at the bottom of the hole. And we dig it about twice as wide as the pot. And that way, when we backfill around that root ball, we can add in some good compost in with the native soil to give the plant the best start possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. You might be in an area where your soil is excellent. If so, I am jealous of you and your soil. Um, so I would talk with your local nursery and see what they recommend. You may not need to add anything. You might need to add something different than I am. Compost is always a good idea though. So here we go. Okay, so when I go to plant, see how I've made the hole quite a bit bigger than this plant actually is? I'm gonna dump a little compost in the bottom. And then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of native soil. Let me test it out real quick. And that is just about perfect. We want the root ball to match up with the current soil level. That way water doesn't run into the crown of the plant and rot it. And we'll want to break up a little bit of the roots, break that root memory just gently and we'll set it down in the hole and then I'm going to backfill around the root ball with native soil and a compost blend and I'm going to pack it in really really tightly to eliminate any air pockets. All right two down six more to go. Okay, I've got them all planted and I think it turned out really great. So now all I need to do is water them in. I've got them all watered in and we are starting to lose light. So tomorrow night, we're gonna come back and finish this whole area up with some mulch. All right, we are back. And the only thing I have to do to finish up this landscape project is to lay down some mulch, which is the mascara of the landscape project. It makes it look so pretty. So I plan on putting just a nice layer of mulch down, which will help keep the roots cool and keep the moisture in the soil. So here we go. I hope this project inspired you to go tackle an area in your own yard. I know it definitely cleaned up the corner of this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.